Hi, welcome to Mathi's Cookbook. Today's recipe in Mathi's Cookbook is Appam without yeast and baking soda. This is a very tasty recipe that I've been following for many years. These are the ingredients needed. First, take a big bowl and add 1 cup of raw rice. You can use any variety of long rice too. Again, add 1 cup of parboiled rice. Add half a cup of urid dal, a quarter teaspoon of methi seeds, and cover them with water. Soak them for about a minimum of 6 hours to 7 hours. Now close the lid and let it soak. Meanwhile, in another bowl, add quarter cup of poha or flattened rice and add water and allow it to soak for 2 hours. You do not need to soak it for a longer time. Meanwhile, after the rice and dal mix is soaked, wash, clean them and grind them in a wet grinder for about 20 minutes. If you do not have a wet grinder, it is okay to grind them in a mixer jar. Meanwhile, wash the soaked poha and add the soaked poha to the rice and dal that is getting grounded in the mixer grinder. While you are using the mixer grinder, make sure to grind this batter in small batches. Once they are grounded completely, transfer them to a big bowl. Add required salt and mix the batter using your hands. The appam batter will be a little runny. It's okay. This will make it easy to make appams. Now cover the bowl and allow it to ferment overnight or for 8 hours. After 8 hours of fermentation, we can see how beautifully the batter is fermented without the addition of yeast. Take a big ladle and completely mix them. In case you do not have poha in hand, it's okay. You can add quarter cup of cooked rice when you are adding the rice and dal in the grinder or mixer jar. Heat the appam pan in the stove and once it is hot enough, pour a ladle of appam batter. Hold the pan in both of your hands and rotate them in a circular motion. Make sure the batter is covering all the sides of the pan. This is the right consistency of the batter. Now close the pan with the lid and allow it to cook for about 3 minutes in a medium flame. After 3 minutes, open the lid and gently remove the appam from the pan. You can see how beautifully soft and fluffy and porous these appams are. Serve these appam with coconut milk, coconut chutney, kurma or kadala curry of your choice. Thanks for watching and subscribe to this channel.